What's up, YouTube family? It's Caroline, and today I am so excited to share this active recovery workout video with you. This workout video is designed to get the blood flowing, break up sore muscle tension, and just keep you moving on those days when your body needs a break from hard, vigorous workouts. Active recovery and rest days are in such an essential part of the training process, but sometimes they're really hard to take, especially if you're the type of person that loves to work up a sweat. So what I love to do on my active recovery workout days is just kind of stretch and flow and move my body in a very gentle, restorative, and nourishing way. But before we get started on that active recovery workout routine, I just want to encourage you that if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more feel good fitness and exercise routines that you can do no matter what. I'm a health and wellness coach here to help you live your very best life. And I want to support you through this channel. I also host online group coaching programs, my hurt, foot fitness coaching program and my strong body program that can support you and allow us to work together outside of this YouTube channel. And I coach clients all over the world, which is so cool because we can hang out together no matter what, no matter where you are. So if you're interested in any of those options for us to connect outside of this video routine, please check out the links in the description box below this video. But if you're ready to get flowing and grooving on your active recovery day, let's roll out your mat and get sweaty in a nice, restorative, peaceful way for this active recovery workout. So when you're ready, roll out the mat and let's go. So I don't know about you, but I love to be comfortable on my active recovery day. So I am wearing my comfortable active recovery just jams. I've got my super cozy sweatshirt on. I'm sure you have one of those too, where you put it on, you just like never want to take it out, take it off. It's just like the most comfortable thing in the world and just some really nice stretchy pants. So this is the perfect active recovery outfit and I'm so, so comfortable right now. So what I want you to do is take your feet about hip distance apart and stand up nice and tall, taking a deep breath. Inhale, and exhale. Good, try that twice more. Inhale, and exhale, and last one. Deep breath in, and long breath out. From here, inhale and reach your arms up towards your ceiling. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, fold forward, hinging at the waist, head goes down towards the floor. Inhale and reverse swan dive, your arms all the way up, and exhale, let the arms come down by your waist. Let's try that again. Inhale, exhale, fold. Good, inhale, reverse swan dive. And exhale, hands down. I'm so happy we're doing this. Again, inhale. Dive forward, exhale. Inhale, reverse swan dive. And exhale, hands by your side. One more, really big. Inhale, lift. And exhale forward. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, relax the arms. Good. Take the arms all the way up and clasp your hands. Press your palms up towards the ceiling and reach up tall through your fingertips and down through your toes. Inhale, big breath in. And as you exhale, side bend to whatever side calls you. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, tilt, stretch it out. Good, take a breath in to lift. And a breath out to extend over. Breath in to lift. And breath out, reach over. 
Beautiful. Come back to center. Take one elbow down to pat yourself on the nape of the neck with that hand. So I'll show you from the back. Nice tricep stretch. Take a breath in to stand up tall. And as you exhale, tilt over. Oh, this stretch feels so good. Especially if you've been doing a lot of my abs or upper body workout videos. Those triceps need some loving. Bring it back up to center. Reach up towards the ceiling and switch. One elbow points towards the sky. Give yourself a pat on the back of the neck and then tilt over to stretch down your lats and your triceps. Good job. Deep breath in and out. Bring it back to center. Let's try this again. So we'll get, take the tricep stretch, stand up tall, belly in, and now tilt over to the side, allowing your side body and tricep to stretch. Oh, a little bit of stretching goes a long way, especially if you're super sore or just need a recovery day. Bring it back to center. Extend, second side. Tap yourself on the back of the neck, lift up and tilt over. Oh my goodness, even the obliques can feel the stretch here. That's pretty awesome. Big breath, inhale, and long breath out, exhale. Beautiful job. Reach up to the center and then shake out those arms. Take some shoulder circles up and down and back. Oh my goodness, if you've been on the computer or the phone a lot or you've been looking down, we're just dealing with a ton of stress, those shoulders, they get so tight and tense. So just getting some blood flowing and giving them some love and attention goes a long way in helping improve your mobility and how you feel both inside and out. Okay, let's reverse that direction, shoulder circles. Mm. Doing this in my cozy sweatshirt is the best thing ever right now. You have to let me know if you have a cozy sweatshirt like this because once I put it on, it's probably not coming off. Let's take two more shoulder circles and relax. One hand goes down and then with the hand that's going down, take the head in the opposite direction, stretching through your neck. Flex the hand towards your face and then tilt the hand towards the floor. Ooh, flex the hand and tilt. Those are your typing muscles, my friend. Flex, wow, and your wrists and extend. They need some stretching. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Return to center. Side two. Stretch your neck over. Extend your arm out. Flex your wrist up and then bend it down. Oh my goodness, so yummy. Inhale, lift and exhale down. Two more, lift and lower. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Lift and lower. I could do this all day. Back to center. Take your legs wide. Now I want to give you just a little bit of loving in the legs. So we're going to do a little leg loving. You'll take your legs wide and you're going to bend down into this crouching, crouching tiger kind of position. One leg is straight, one leg is bent. And then I just want you to walk over so you're on the other side and then walk over to alternate. So you're just gonna go kind of like slow motion. Some people call this the spider monkey stretch. I actually really like that name. So maybe we'll stick with it, but it's a little bit of like a Spider-Man movement. I kind of like it, you know, you're crawling, you're low, and do you feel a crazy stretch in your inner hips right now? Because I do. It's pretty wild. <laughs> Get your hips back and down and make sure you're really stretching in the inside of that inner thigh without staying too long. A lot of parts of the active recovery process are not static stretching. We don't want to have you hold a deep stretch for crazy extended periods of time because that actually can make you really sore. We just want to get you moving and breathing and blood flowing and help you have something to do on your active recovery day so that you don't go do a crazy hard workout and end up overtraining or injured. So do something, but 
make sure it's restful and nourishing and not gonna prevent you from really seeing the most results from your training. Okay, spider monkey stretch, we're about done with this one. Ah, uh, bring it back to center. And slowly bend your knees if you need to. You're gonna round your way all the way up. Okay, slowly bring your legs together. You might feel a little bit stretched out after that. And you're just going to take what we call, or I call, the world's greatest stretch. So I'm showing this from the side in my comfy sweatshirt. You're gonna step your feet together, and then all you're going to do is lunge one leg back, put your arms on the ground. From here, you reach your opposite arm up, twisting through your spine and through your belly button. Take a big breath in, and then you're gonna bring it down and step all the way up together. Ooh, let's try side two. So you're gonna lunge back, hands on the ground, and then reach your arm up, twisting through your stomach, feeling your butt, but also feeling a stretch in your abs and your lower back and your hip flexor, all the good things. Good, bring it back in, step it together. Let's do one more on each side. So you're gonna lunge down your right, step your left leg back, right arm goes up, so you're twisting over the bent knee in front. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, woo, you gotta step up, so you gotta use your legs. Second side, last time. Lunge it back. Hands on the ground, falling over is required at least once. And then reach that arm up towards the ceiling, twisting through your stomach, your spine, and opening your heart. Good, hand down, and then step it all the way back up. Okay, now we're gonna bring it down to the floor. So however you wanna get down there, you might just wanna burp, burp, or you might wanna twist and roll, twist and shout, however get down to the floor and find me in tabletop position. So, Hands underneath shoulders and knees under hips, abs engaged, and let your comfy sweatshirt give you some love here. You're gonna inhale, round the spine, arch the back, tuck the chin, and then exhale, belly down, look up. I call this cat cow, most people do too. Let's do it again. Inhale, round and tuck, chin in towards your chest, and exhale, belly down, look up. That is fabulous. Inhale, round and tuck, Stretch through your back and exhale, belly down. Nice stretch through the front. And last time, inhale, big round, big cat. And exhale, belly down, look up. Beautiful, inhale to neutral. And now I want you to reach. Let's do the right arm first. So reach your right arm towards the ceiling and then thread your right arm underneath your left arm letting your head rest on the floor, coming into a twisted child's pose. Take a breath in, and a long breath out. Oh, so yummy. Aren't you glad you showed up for yourself today? Yeah, me too. Good, inhale, reach that arm right back up towards the ceiling, and exhale, hand down. Side two, inhale, reach, twist and open, and exhale, thread underneath, head goes on the floor. Feel an amazing stretch through the back of your shoulder blade. Maybe even your neck, your shoulder, your low back and your hips. Take a breath in and a long breath out. <sighs> Inhale, reach the arm all the way back up to your ceiling and exhale, hand down. Now we move into one of my favorite chest openers. It's a puppy pose. Well, I call it a puppy pose. You can call it whatever you want. You're going to keep your hips above your knees, so make sure this stays where, it at, where it's at. Walk your hands forward, and you're just going to let your arms stay straight as you press your chest down towards your mat. Oh, now this is really an amazing stretch for your chest and your shoulders but you've got to make sure you breathe because without oxygen, you're not getting any benefit from this right now. So inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. Slowly walk your hands back up to center and you're going to find your way onto your back. So flip it over, a little active recovery roll, and lay all the way down on 
on your back in your comfy sweatshirt. It just feels like a big hug. So nice. All right, so I want you to bring your knees in and you're going to let your knees rock to one side. Keep your knees stacked and allow yourself to start to feel a stretch in your lower back and your hips. Take your bottom arm on the top of the knees and keep the knees together. Then bring this top arm in front of you. We're gonna do something um, that's like a really nice little half rainbow. It's such an amazing chest and upper back opener. You ready? So you're gonna hold on top of the knees, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, you're gonna keep your fingers on the floor, trace the floor as you twist and look over your hand. You'll inhale, bring it back. This is gonna be your new favorite thing. It's totally mine. And as you exhale, you'll trace the floor, allowing your chest to open, your lower back to stretch, and your hips to open. And then bring it back to center. Let's try a few more of these. And again, if you can, keep your fingers touching the ground. If your chest is really tight, this might be impossible. But if you keep working at it by playing this video and practicing active recovery, you'll get there. Breathe. Hopefully it just makes you feel better, no matter where you are. Remember, fitness is not about achieving a specific thing, but more about how you feel and how, how you feel impacts how you can positively live your life. Last one. Open. Oh, I love this chest opener so much. And then back to center. Now from here, I want you to grab your top ankle, okay? And you can let your other arm allow it to be a pillow for your head, okay? You're going to bring your other ankle into your top hand, and you're going to bring your knee in, giving it a hug, and then Push your knee away, taking a quad stretch. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's try it again. So we're gonna come in, good, and then press it back. The first time I learned this, I was like, what is this doing? It's a great hip mobility exercise and a quad and hip flexor stretch. You might already feel that, especially if you're super tight from you know your other workouts. Gosh, I really hope you can use this routine on your active recovery days. It's good because you feel like you're doing something, even when your body needs like a break from all the hard stuff, right? It's nice to have something to do to give yourself a little self-care and show up for your wellness. We're still moving with this, by the way. If you haven't continued to follow, we're gonna do one more forward and then hold it back. Squeeze that heel in towards your glutes, stretch through your quad, stretch through your hip flexor, scoop the belly in and breathe, of course. Beautiful. And release it. Now we're going to come to the other side and I'm just going to switch so I can face you. But knees are going to tilt to the opposite direction. And then you take your hand on top of the knees to keep the knees stacked and bring your top arm forward we're going to try that half circle, that amazing stretch for your chest and your upper back. So you're going to inhale, reach the arm on the floor and twist to look over that shoulder and then exhale, bring it back to center. This again, if you've ever been doing a lot of push-ups, a lot of swimming, a lot of chest computer typing, is all typing chest computer typing? I don't really know. I'll have to find out. This stretch is really restorative and healing, and it's become one of my favorites so much that I'm almost doing it on a daily basis. It just feels yummy. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you like it, because I'm kind of obsessed if you haven't been able to figure that out. Good, let it feel just so yummy to you. So whatever speed you need to move at, whatever place you wanna linger in, just wherever you go, make it nourish your body and nourish your mind. We forget that you know active recovery days and rest days are also so important for your mindset because if you don't have a break, you completely burn out mentally and then you don't enjoy your training and you aren't excited to move your body and that's not how it should be. Okay, relax. You're gonna let this bottom hand be a pillow, grab your top leg and bring your knee in towards your chest, giving it a hug. And then as you exhale, you'll press back quad stretch. 
it's totally normal if one side just feels way tighter than the other, especially if you've ever had to recover from a foot injury of any sort, or you've been dealing with a physical challenge. And, you know, it's just good to be aware of our imbalances. We don't have to be crazy about correcting our body and having perfect symmetry, but it is good to, to work on body balance. You can move faster, slow here, but just feel that motion through the hip and through the thigh. Let's do a few more. Oh, I love this, this exercise as well. I like everything that we do in this video, actually. <laughs> it's all of kind of part of my lifestyle, big time. Okay, last one. Good, and release. From here, if you can, you're just gonna rock on your back and then with your legs, or excuse me, on your back, you'll take your hands by your sides. And then I just wanna have you kick your legs up and then just lightly kick your legs. So this might look crazy to you, and it kind of is, but when I was a dancer, I was raised in all sorts of ballet and modern, we used to do this to kind of just like flush out our legs, pump some blood, and it actually just feels really good. So I just call it kick your butt, <laughs> kick your booty. And um, I hope it's like letting you kind of get some blood flow around there. Ha, <sighs> relax. Take one ankle on top of the opposite knee, flex the foot towards your face, and you can stay here or guide the legs in towards your chest, wrapping your hand underneath your hamstring. Oh, you should feel an incredible stretch in the side of your butt, your thigh, and maybe even your lower back. Breath in. Breath out. If you do a lot of my floor bar or my hip videos, this stretch is for you. <laughs> Take your breath in and a breath out. <sighs> Beautiful. Take it down and now cross this leg over the other thigh. So you're making a cross leg position, like you're wearing a skirt and you don't want anyone to see inside. <laughs> Bring the knees up. And you can either hold this pose or take your hands to your shins or even your ankles. I can't go for ankles, so I'm gonna go for shins. Back goes on the floor, tummy is tight. Again, breath in. And breath out. Such a good stretch for your hips and your lower back. Good, uncross the legs, shake it out, release all of that business. Place your legs back down, and then other side, cross ankle on top of knee. You can flex the foot if that feels okay, and then carefully draw your legs in towards your chest, grabbing behind your hamstring or on top of your shin for more support. Take a breath in, and a breath out. This side is much tighter for me, and I can always tell because the knee comes in closer. It's not out to the side like the other side. Not something to worry about, unless it causes me an issue. Oh man, another breath in. And out, these hips need some loving. Bring it down. Okay, cross one ankle over, excuse me, knee over, and then bring it in. Grab all the shins, ankles, whatever you, feet, if you wanna go there. But you just wanna make sure your back is on the floor. Don't let your back come all the way up. None of this crazy business. Be good with your body because you only get one. That's why we take active rest days and we recover smart so that we get the most we can out of our training and take good care of ourselves. Good, breath in and breath out. Bring it back to center, uncross the legs and then roll to one side and you're going to sit up for one of my favorite stretches, the 90-90 stretch. So from here, you're going to bring your legs in 90 degrees. So hip in line with knee, knee in line with ankle, yep, 90, and then 90. Hip, knee, knee, ankle. So you're in this 90-90 position. You are lift up tall through your waist, and then bring yourself forward over that front knee. This again is a stretch in your hips and your hip flexor and you're feeling hopefully more open there now. Oh, rest days are 
hard, but they're so worth it. I have a hard time taking rest. It's hard because, you know, if in our culture, everything's about going harder and pushing more. And um, it looks like on Instagram and Facebook and all those things, like pretty much everybody's just eating smoothies and doing Barry's boot camp all day, every day. So you feel like you should too. Nobody puts pictures of them in their cozy, comfortable outfit, like resting. But this video is designed to encourage you to rest and to remind you that it's not something that you should feel guilty about, but something that is a really valuable part of your active and healthy life. So I hope this video makes resting a little easier for you. I know it does for me. Bring it back up to center and we're just going to switch the other side. So switch it over. 90, 90, set it up, lift up out of your waist, and then come forward over that top knee. That was, you know, one of the main reasons I really wanted to create this video for all of us is to remind us of the value and the importance of rest and regeneration and that being such an act of self-loving and self-care. That you don't always have to do more and be more, that sometimes you just need to chill more and be at peace more. This is what I'm practicing and learning every single day. So you'll have to you know, leave me a comment and let me know if you're with me. I'm also trying to talk your ear off to distract your butt from this crazy stretch right now. Cause it's crazy, right? Like my butt is being stretched in a good possible, in a good, good way. But you know, definitely deep breathing and talking about the value of rest is helping. <laughs> Bring it back into center and then bring your legs together into a butterfly. So you can do legs out forward or legs closer to your, um, to your groin. It's come, kind of personal preference. You'll lift up through your waist and your hips and your abs and then come forward to any degree. You might not even need to come forward. You might just be up here and like, this is crazy, Caroline. I'm not going any further. Cool, we're good. Stay here. What I like to do actually is take my hands and give the plantar fascia on the bottoms of my feet a nice little foot rub while I'm here because you know all those muscles on the bottom of your feet get so tight and tense with every single step and all of the things that you're doing in your life that it's it's important to show them some love so you probably already do my um, foot foam rolling videos on this channel but you can also do a little manual release therapy and that is pretty magical like <laughs> try it out it's awesome Take a breath in and a breath out. Oh, so yummy. Good, we're gonna do a few more things before the active recovery day is over. The next stretch I wanna take us through is a quad stretch because we get really tight when we're doing a lot of cycling or running or chair cardio, any of those things. And I want you to stretch the front of your thighs. So you'll lay on your belly and you'll bring your hands on top of each other and stack your head on your hands. And I'm not gonna do this because I have to talk to you, so you do that and listen. You'll bring one heel to the bottom, grab hold with the arm, and pull your ankle towards your butt. Now, if you can't pull your ankle towards your butt, you're just gonna hold here and feel the stretch and the length or the work in the, in the hamstrings. That's also great. But if you can, you're just gonna hold and use the floor as resistance to open up your quads and your hip flexors. Sometimes when I see people do this without support in the front, they go into crazy back bends and don't get the benefit from stretching the front of their thighs. So the floor just keeps you in really good alignment. So you're getting the most you can for those big dominant quad muscles. Okay, breath in and breath out. release and let's try side two so wow i feel a huge difference that's wild okay bring one heel into the butt and then grab hold with the opposite hand and hold now belly into mat squeeze your butt hard feel a stretch in the front of your thigh take a big breath in and a long breath out and again your head is down on your arms like this so your spine is long and your neck is in neutral. Big breath in. And long breath out. 
Good, release that leg. And then slowly push yourself up and back into child's pose. Bringing the hips to the heels, reaching your arms forward and head goes to the floor. This is a beautiful pose to end our active recovery workout with because you can take the time to surrender, to surrender to rest, to surrender to restoring yourself, to surrender to self-love and self-care and showing up on your mat today for you, to surrender to listening to what your body needs and honoring that. Take one more deep breath in and long breath out. Slowly come up to seated and relax. So that, my friend, is your active recovery workout video. And I would love to hear from you. I know I personally needed an active recovery workout today, and that was kind of perfect for me. I got to wear my cozy sweatpants, I got to stretch and roll with you, and now my mind and my body feel so much better. And the sun is shining in San Diego, and it's decided to kiss me with a little bit of positive energy and good vibes. So you can see that, and I hope that sunshine just radiates to you and lets you know how grateful I am for you for being here on this channel, for being part of my community and part of my world. I am truly so grateful that we get to share feel good fitness together and I'm here for you. So let me know in the comments below if this active recovery workout helped you um, and what you wanna see more of on this channel. Know that I'm here to support you in whatever you need next. So thank you again for joining me and I'll see you soon at carolinejordanfitness.com. Bye.